we will be discussing about in today's tutorial. We will be discussing about how to install WordPress on a local host. Well, um, WordPress uh, is a very very powerful and a popular CMS, which is content management system, and statistically it's powering over or almost or one third of the whole entire websites. Um, as a result, hundreds of people are entering into the community on a daily basis. So, for those of us that are beginners into the WordPress world or into the world of designing, web designing, and, and so on, we've decided to teach you how to install your WordPress app on on a local host. Now, uh, you might be wondering why why would I want to like install my WordPress uh, install WordPress on on a local host well basically any website that is installed on a local host any website that is installed on a local host is basically for for personal purposes for personal use and not for for public use and that is the only person that can access your website is a person that have access to your computer because the, your website is being installed on your computer locally so nobody have access to your website and nobody can view your website except you so that is basically the reason as to why anybody would want to install a wordpress or his or her website on the local house and also um you might be wondering why um what are the requirements or rather why how can i achieve this well in order to achieve this you will need um software that will create a host on your system locally and there are a series of software that will perform that can perform that particular function for you and then such softwares include um, ZAMP includes the ZAMP the WAMP the LAMP and then the MAMP now this software the reason why you need software such as this is that WordPress application is built on PHP and so you need PHP on your server and then you also need MySQL. PHP is a programming language, MySQL is a database. You need these two applications in order to be able to run your WordPress site. So with the help of um, software such as ZAMP, MAMP and uh, LAMP and WAMP, software such as those will help you achieve this so out of the four listed softwares we'll be making use of zamp so we we'll head on straight to google and then we we'll search for zamp and head to their official website this is zamp this is the official website So among the four listed um, in software, ZAMP and WAMP are open source and they provide a free solution. Where, but however, ZAMP is better than WAMP because it is compatible with all operating system. And then the and there is also um, there is also um, Softwares that are compatible with Linux operating system and then the OS that is Apple operating system. And so, um, we, we, we decided to go with ZAMP because ZAMP is compatible with all operating systems, as I mentioned. So, you head on straight to the to their website, to the official website, and then you select, as you can see, you see ZAMP for Windows, ZAMP for uh, Linux operating system, and then ZAMP for Apple operating system. So, now you, you, you head on to this and then your download starts automatically if it doesn't start automatically you click on this button to kickstart the download so once the download is completed you you start your installation yeah okay now we we'll is you make sure you select add, uh, MySQL. Uh, um, these are not necessarily are not needed. These options are not needed. PHP, yeah. Perl will not. And then make sure 
make sure php my admin is installed all these options you can leave all the default options if you choose to but for the purpose of our uh, tutorial all we just need is mysql uh, uh file live tp server we don't necessarily need this but we just leave it but the most important thing we need is mysql and then php my admin and then we hit on next Then we select the folder. It's our local disk. So now we say next. And then you select your language, English. And then we wait while it installs. Well, in some systems whereby um, there is an antivirus installed on the system, you might um, get a security alert. However, you don't need to panic or worry about that. You just allow access, click on the allow access button, and then you you proceed. Even the Windows Defender might even give security alert. Nevertheless, you just need to just forge ahead. Once you're done installing, you now head on to your 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 PC this and then you head on to this now on this particular part of your PC you will see a folder a folder will be created on your local disk called ZAMP this is the folder you head on to the folder and then you look for a folder called Haiti Docs this is the folder click on the Haiti Docs and then once you open that particular folder what you do here is that you will now create a folder in this in your Haiti Docs you, you can title the folder whatever you want to title it as this will be your your you, this is the folder you're going to host your WordPress site so we're going to give our folder name uh, uh, let's say my website my new website my new website yes let's say my new website and then we save it now we've downloaded the wordpress we've downloaded the the, um, the latest version of wordpress now you now head on to here yeah, you downloaded it this is it and then you copy it you copy it to the folder you created in your Haiti docs this folder you now paste it here and then you unzip it uh, you extract it here once that is completed you now delete this the zip file because you won't be needing that you open the folder the wordpress folder and then you copy everything in the folder and you cut it and then you paste it outside the wordpress folder but still inside your my new website folder that is what you have now is your haiti docs in your haiti docs my new website which is where we've, host, we've pasted our wordpress uh, files you now open it you see this now we don't need this folder anymore because it's empty we delete it now once this is done once this is done we'll now head back and back now you will you will notice that you, you some of you during your installation you might choose to install um, uh, to create a shortcut for your zamp on your desktop screen on your desktop screen but well ours we didn't what we did was we we just pinned it to our tax menu but where you can find that particular stuff is you come to the your your local disk and then you go to the ZAMP folder just come right down at the bottom you see ZAMP control this is it you can you open this and then you can pin it to your tax bar for easy access so what you do here is that you now come you you click on start this is where you start your apache okay once it's green it means that it has started once it's green your apache is live so what you do now is you go back to your browser then on your browser browser url you type local 
host the type localhost slash php my admin then you open it now this is um, this is where we're going to create our database so in order to do that we head on to this and then we we'll click on database and then we we'll open a note tab here we we'll write the name of our database uh, database uh, db for short and then we'll call our database uh, my database you can name your database anything as long as you remember it and always i always advise people to my students to always use a, a notepad to store sensitive stuff of this nature so you do not forget so now we'll paste it here and then we'll create the database now our database has been created the next thing we do is we now go to open a new tab and install our wordpress so opening a new tab we open a new tab and then what we do now is we type local host slash remember the folder we created in our Haiti docs this folder we created in our Haiti docs this folder my new website this is the folder and in this folder this is where our WordPress files are so this folder we just copy it exactly the same and then we'll now type it here that is my local the local host slash my new website and then we'll open it yeah now that it has opened what we do is we select our language english united states and then the next is um, we hit on the let's go now we are now being asked uh, to insert our database name so this is remember we created a database with the name my database we we'll copy it and then we we'll paste it here and then as for the username we're going to type root and then for the password we just leave it blank and then as for this we we'll leave it as host local host and then table prefix same thing and then we we'll just forge ahead and then we we'll run installation now we are to create we have been asked to create uh, our admin information and then our website now we have to name our website we can name our website as new wordpress on local on localhost new wordpress on localhost and um, the username for our admin we can use admin as our username or we can use our own personal name whatever name we want but always remember to store the names on the notepad like you say username we're going to use admin and the password we will use uh, well for the purpose of this lesson we'll just use the suggested password once but in your case you can use whatever password you would choose to use and so long as it's been stored on the notepad you don't need to worry about memorizing it and then your email your email on the email you're going to use you can type whatever email you want to use since this is a local host and then we don't need to accept this because it doesn't really matter because our wordpress installation is going to be on our website no need for a search engine yet unless we tend to migrate our website from our local host to a live host so now we we'll log in admin and then our password voila our the latest version of wordpress has been installed on our local host it's been installed on our local host you can see you can see this is it so we can come to our appearance team and then see the photo contents and then we choose to activate this you can activate this and then see yeah this is it yeah that is all so thank you for watching in our next video we will we'll teach you how to 
migrate your WordPress site from a local host to a live server. And then we can also, we'll also teach you how to install WordPress easily on a live server using cPanel on the cPanel server. Thank you. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. And also feel free to drop your comments. Wherever you're confused, we're here to assist you. Thank you. Goodbye.